weekly vlog. It is Monday, it is 10 to one. Today I have been to my favorite Pilates class and after that I've just been chilling. I haven't actually been doing anything, but I've got an exciting, or at least I think it's exciting, flat update for you. Over the weekend, we acquired a dining table and some dining table chairs. We got both separately actually, but both from Facebook Marketplace. The table cost us $40 and the chairs cost us $20, so $5 per chair, which I think is such a bargain, $60 for a whole dining table setup. That's the equivalent of about 35 pounds. It then did cost us about $50 to get everything home, <laughs> transport it home. But still, overall, I think that is a very good value. And even though everything's secondhand, it's still in pretty good condition. And I feel like it matches the flat so well. I never would have gone for a black dining table personally, but because so much other furniture in this flat is black it is kind of the only thing that goes but it fits this space really nicely and I feel like actually makes the flat feel complete now but yeah I don't really have a solid plan for what I'm doing today I'm just doing bits and bobs as usual I actually need to go and measure my suitcase now because I'm planning on sending over a suitcase of my winter clothes to Australia because it's suddenly getting pretty cold in Sydney. I mean, today isn't a good example because it's going up to like 25 degrees today, but on the whole, the temperature has been dropping and I do not have the wardrobe for that because obviously, we only thought we were gonna be here for three months, which would have been all of summer. So I only brought my summer clothes with me. I just brought one suitcase. But now that we're staying here for longer, I don't have any of my winter clothes with me. And even though it is quite expensive to send over stuff from the UK to Australia, I still think it will be cheaper than buying everything in Sydney. And also prevents me buying a lot of the stuff twice because I already have it back in the UK. So on Friday, I was FaceTiming my sister and she was going through my wardrobe and putting stuff in a suitcase for me. It was quite funny actually, it felt like I was shopping in my own wardrobe. So now I just need to go and measure the dimensions because I have two of the same suitcase and one of them is here. So I need to measure how big the suitcase is and then get that ordered. The only thing I don't really have that I do wanna buy is a blazer. It's something I've never really owned because I never really had an occasion to wear a blazer. But now that I'm working in an office and require a bit more formal clothing, a blazer, is definitely missing from my wardrobe because it's kind of the perfect office jacket. So after I've finished measuring this suitcase, it's in the wardrobe, that's why I'm in the bedroom now, I might do a cheeky little trip to Dish because I've seen that they've got some gorgeous blazers and see if I fancy any of those. This poster <laughs> needs to go. <laughs> this very uncute backdrop. I still need to get my own bedding. I still need to change that poster up. But this is the blazer I ended up getting from Dish. It's their black boyfriend blazer. I think it's called the Harley blazer. And I did love the Celine pebble blazer that I tried on, the sort of more beigey one. But I just thought going into winter, I'm more likely to wear 
a darker color and I feel like this just goes with everything. Like it even goes with this outfit that I've got on right now. I would wear this to the office and out and about. Just a word of warning with this blazer, I did have to size down. I tried on my usual size, which is an Australian size eight and I looked like Gru from Despicable Me because the shoulder pads were like out here. So I've gone down to an Australian size six and I love the fit of it. It is kind of the perfect oversized fit. Like I feel like it just sits really casually, but could also be dressed up if I wanted to dress it up. Sid's just returned home with a new addition for the flat. We now have a microwave. This was also a Facebook marketplace purchase. How much was it? 13 pounds. 13 pounds. How many dollars is that? 25. $25. I think we need to put it up in that gap up there because that's 100% made for a microwave. And then also it's not uh, taking up the counter space. You're just overseeing, <laughs> just in case. Stop micromanaging the situation. It is Tuesday today and I'm very excited because last night Pippa and Abby came back to Sydney. They finished their six weeks doing the East Coast. Actually, it's longer than six weeks. They're in Cairns for quite a bit, but they flew back last night and today I'm seeing them. I'm not sure what our plan is. I think we're just going to go for a walk, maybe get some lunch and then they're going to come around and see the new flat. This morning I've just been to Pilates, had a shower. I think that's it really. Sid and I need to head to the supermarket to stock up on some bits and then need to get changed into a nicer outfit and then it should be a lovely afternoon catching up with them. just getting ready to head off to work. It was so nice to see Abby and Pippa yesterday. We ended up having like a six, seven hour catch up, just chilling in the flat, hearing about all of their East Coast adventures and their plans now that they're back in Sydney for a bit. I think I'm just in the office today. I don't think I've got any shoots or I'm going anywhere. So I imagine it's gonna be a pretty editing heavy day today, catching up on all of the content from the shoots that we've had in the past few weeks. I also need to finish editing a TikTok for the agency that I filmed last week. We did one of those sheer look style videos. I, I don't know if they started that trend to be honest, but I know they do it a lot where they go round the office and interview people about a certain topic. And the one that we filmed last week was Cafe Recommendations in Sydney, which was a very useful video for me to personally film as well, because I got so many good recommendations from that video. And if it does well, then I feel like it could be a really nice series to start because obviously it's a restaurant and hospitality marketing agency. So they are genuinely 
experts on <laughs> where to eat and drink in Sydney. And they always have so many good recommendations. They were giving me so many ideas for what to do for my birthday next week because it's my birthday next week. I feel like that's come around so fast and I just didn't book anywhere. I've left it a bit last minute. So that is something I need to get on in the next few days. I have provisionally booked somewhere that they recommended, but I'm not 100% on whether it's the vibe that I'm after. So I still need to have a look, but yeah, I really need to get on that. <laughs> about 10 o'clock at night. I honestly feel delirious. Uh, got back home from work. Sid was on a call for a few hours. I've just had a call with my management team back in the UK, which was really nice to be fair, but it's just taking it out of me. However, during the day, whilst I was at work, we had a Kmart order delivered. So I thought I'd show you what we got. Firstly, we have a shoe rack, a four tier stackable black shoe rack. Oh, there's actually nothing in here. Why is it such a big box? I then got, <laughs> I was like, what's this? Feeler. It's coming out, it's <laughs> a feeler. Oh, it actually is a feeler. Yeah. It says touch me. Um, I need to go to bed. Got a faux, oh, faux feather. I didn't realize that when I ordered it. Faux feather yarn throw. I have to get this out of the packet and look at it because I didn't realise it was faux feather. I don't know how I feel about that. To be fair, it just looks like a fluffy blanket, but I thought the pale pink went quite nicely with the colour of the sofa because obviously it's this sort of brownie shade. So same sort of warm tones, but lightens it up a bit. Oh, this is the only other thing in the box. I got six of these felt storage boxes because I'm going to put them in our TV unit because... Currently, everything is just out in the TV unit and it just looks a bit cluttered to me. I'd prefer it to be in something and away and organized. And then, do you wanna show everybody what you got? Sid also got something in the you Kmart order that it. he'd already unboxed by the time I got home. That's how excited he was about this purchase. And it is so exciting. A yoga mat! This is only $9, crazy. And it literally feels the same quality as my really expensive yoga mat that I bought when I was living in Copenhagen. Thanks for modeling that for everybody. But anyway, I need to go to bed now. We can do all of that organizing and the construction of the shoe rack tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. 
started the day by putting together those things that we got delivered from Kmart on Wednesday. However, now I've put them together, I don't really know how to feel about it. For example, I've put these boxes in the TV unit and it definitely does make it look more organized and a lot more tidy, but I just feel like it looks really plain now you can't really see very well because it's very backlit but i just feel like it looks super boring now i think it needs something else on these shelves so if you have any idea of what i could put there or how i could rearrange the boxes so it looks a bit more interesting then let me know i could also really do with your advice on what to do with this blanket because it looks so cute on the sofa but it's shedding everywhere i think because it's that faux fur kind of material and it was fairly cheap and i would put it in the wash and i would put it in the tumble dryer but it says to not do that and i don't know whether to risk it or not the last thing i did was put together the shoe rack which i've put over here but since constructing it i've actually taken off the bits that were coming up like this i feel like it looks so much better without them. So yeah, those were my little home improvements for the morning. Slowly the flat definitely is coming together, I think, and feeling a lot more like our own with these little additions here and there, and especially at the dining table. I'm so glad we have a dining table now. Today I am just gonna be editing this vlog, although I'm not sure how much there actually is to edit. I feel like I've had a pretty uneventful week. Work has been busy the last two days, but I was mostly in the office just editing content, as I think I mentioned before. And yesterday I had a mini shoot in the afternoon to get some content for one of our clients for Mother's Day, because they've got a Mother's Day offer coming up. But that only took an hour and a half or so. So yeah, this vlog may be a little shorter this week, but that's life, I guess. Not every week is super interesting, but I really hope that you still enjoyed it. And next week's vlog should hopefully be more exciting because it's my birthday week and I fully plan on milking it and doing lots of exciting things during the week. So yeah, make sure you're subscribed for that. Also follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok and I'll see you in the next